goes to... Untangling the threads on the origins of Christianity get a lot more difficult when powerful people keep retying the knots. Gordon Wasson was vice president for J.P. Morgan when he launched the Mushrooms of the Foundation for Everything Spiritual, something inspired, no doubt, by the 1736 report of Swedish Colonel Philip Johan von Stralenberg concerning odd behavior among the Korak people of Kamkatschka, Siberia, who used Amanita muscaria for ceremonies. The colonel was being held prisoner at the time and reported, The poorest sort, who cannot afford to lay in a store of these mushrooms, post themselves on these occasions round the huts of the rich and watch the opportunity of the guests coming down to make water and then hold a wooden bowl to receive the urine, which they drink off greedily, as having still some virtue of the mushroom in it, and by this way, they also get drunk. Wasson developed the theory that the Siberian use of mushrooms had filtered down to India and Persia, and drinking priest's urine was encoded into the oldest living religious document, the Rig Veda, the Bible of Hinduism, and something echoed in the Avesta, the Persian Bible. Wasson had a very poor understanding of Sanskrit, so he hired a translator to work with him, and it's her translation of the Rig Veda everyone reads in English today. And herein is the biggest pitfall. Unless you can find the original document and learn to read the language, you never know for sure what you're getting and how much has been slanted or distorted. One thing is massively clear. There's been an intense amount of distortion around the origins of religion, especially concerning what's intentionally been left out of the picture. Any reputable scholar in the field already knew the truth. Soma was cannabis, something made obvious by its description in the Veda. The king of healing plants clothes the naked, the blind see, the lame walk. A reference to hemp, as well as its usefulness in treating glaucoma and multiple sclerosis. The Veda also credits cannabis as a sage and seer inspired by poetry. Something Bob Marley, Louis Armstrong, and Willie Nelson would no doubt attest to. Strange such a well-funded effort to misdirect people away from cannabis, not only in the Vedas, but also in the foundation of Judaism and Christianity, would be spearheaded by a vice president of the world's second most powerful bank. A similar movement had already long cemented the fallacy Jesus was a living person who walked the earth when zero reputable evidence from his alleged lifetime ever emerged, just endless forgeries and mistranslations. Many clues slipped through the nets, however, like the story of Moses and the burning bush. Obviously, powerful forces disappeared the real history of cannabis, and this effort continues to keep a lid on the story today. There is no such controversy in India where every barefoot sadhu knows Soma is a reference to Bong. A decade after Wasson mesmerized the academic world with the outrageously invented story Soma was a mushroom, one of a handful of scholars allowed access to the Dead Sea Scrolls broke the web of secrecy around that project by claiming Jesus never existed and was a code for Amanita muscaria as well. According to John Allegro, Jesus meant semen, and Christ meant giant erect mushroom penis. This was all based on the Sumerian language long dead by the time of Jesus. And it just goes to show how far you can stretch this story in any direction you want. Allegro sold this story to the tabloids and lost his academic career in the process. Judea was at the pivotal crossroads connecting the Roman Empire with Persia and India. The biggest influences in the time were coming from the West, and Greek was the universal language of the educated, not to mention the only one used to write much of the New Testament. So isn't it far more likely Jesus is an echo from something Greek-sounding, like Zeus, perhaps? And doesn't that have a much better ring for an icon on the altar than semen? Not to mention the current story is the real name was Joshua, but got changed to Jesus for unknown reasons. A weak tale. Meanwhile, 
Krista is Sanskrit for attraction, and Sanskrit had a huge influence over the Greek language. The Greek Christos means the anointed one, but it can also mean Krishna. According to Indian legend, Krishna was manifested magically to bring harmony back to an unbalanced earth. Krishna is often portrayed as a blue-faced child with flute who brings music, dancing, and fun and symbolizes love and peace and can be portrayed also as an older man. The colloquial Bengali expression for Krishna is Christo, which is exactly the same as Christ in Spanish. So why did Allegro reach back into ancient Sumerian dialects to find answers that should be clear? And why have both the mainstream scholars and conspiracy theorists been directed down the same mushroom rabbit hole when the disappearance of cannabis is the real story in the history of religion? Ma means cannabis, as in Soma, Hyoma, Shuma. And that's also the source for shaman and magician. So if you want to talk about the origins of magic and religion, you need to talk about cannabis and not avoid the subject entirely with a bunch of mushroom hoo-ha. (laughs) 